prescriptive, or do you have to use the approach any on the fly once the event? Yeah, it's, it's both. It's both. There's an initial start time set, which is sort of our best guess. And because of, you know, actually here, right, we started roughly 15 minutes later than if we were starting dead on time at 7 o'clock. So I, I've been, I was pushing the time back and pushing the time back. I've got the controller in on my phone, and that's something that we'll integrate with the venue so that they run that, and they can set the exact start time. And the phones are actually checking on the server to get refreshes on that um, so that everybody has a synchronous start to you know, actual go, to hopefully sync up with the video and everything else that's going on. Would there be a way to use, like, push notifications? That's on the list, yes. Okay. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, how much work is it for me to actually engage with the app for the first time I use it? So, I saw you had that list of events up there. Like, say, it's the first time I use it, I'm at the Cardinals game. Because all I literally have to do is download the app, and then I click Cardinals game, and then it takes it from there. Or is it a little more complicated, like what you were doing? Where yeah, so, so, yeah, you're right. A typical event, like, we're actually going to be doing uh, the next well, one of the future slow games. So what they'll do that day is you know, they'll download the app. It'll search for their events to get the current location information. Mm -hmm. And then it'll search for events, and they'll see the slow basketball game, check into that, and then the countdown's going. Mm -hmm. And normally, and we got a little bit mixed up because I didn't update the controller app at the right times, mm -hmm. but normally what will happen is at 25 seconds, it'll actually go <laughs> over and push you into the like, pre-show screens of the app. And at 10 seconds, it does a slightly more hostile takeover and pushes you into a, a spinner countdown. I don't know if anybody saw that. But there was like a 10, 9, 8 countdown in the last 10 seconds, and then you go, you're in the show. So traditionally, if, it, if it's all going according to plan, you'll get pushed through, and all you have to do is have the app open at the right time. So it's a guided experience. It is. I think it has to be, because you're dealing with yeah. me, my mother, who, you know, and, you know, you have a wide range, right? You know, so what is this? All right, open it up one or download one. Open it up two, right? Event three, and there's within like less than four, so it's it's there and now. Now you're good to go, and then you know there's subtle subtle reminders like what is it? Here it is. How do you participate? Things like that to where you know uh, it has to be subtle, but it has to be very easy. So that's something. Uh, Jeff, did do anything permissions wise uh, to use the songs, or have you done any like made any request? Um, will we, like licensing? Yeah, do you have to request permission to use the songs in so, the app? Yeah, so on the flash mobs, like we're playing with sound right now, there's just sound clips in our amp. Um, no, I mean, I mean, we're just testing out. So, but you know, <laughs> down the line, like that's something we. Have so that's, you know, if we're doing, if you're doing small light shows, right, or like flash mob, that's something that we thought about, right? So it's, um, if, if there's a release, 50 Cent is releasing a new, a new song, and, it, and we have our software, if it works well, its first release can be on your phone with a group of 300 fans at a certain location, right? So you have the Creative Cares thing in Central Park, you go there, and there's a first release, and it's played through your phones, and like in the middle of nowhere, so you're at first release through 50 Cent. So that's something that, you know, like, we'll, you know, obviously connect you to the user and, and So the question is basically how do we deal with this once we get 50,000 people trying to download all this stuff at once. Um, so the answer, at least right now, is that the, the audio that you're hearing is pre-baked into the app. Oh, okay. Um, the video effects that you're that you're seeing are, you know, we've got a proprietary format that's keeping that, the instructions for that is relatively small. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's, that's always on my mind is how we're going to see them as we go. So that's, you guys are,